Hey guys, Smith here from Minute Maintenance, coming at you on a beautiful, balmy, some might even say sweltering winter day here in the Midwest. We got 12 degrees outside. We got check engine light going on on our 2007 Ford Expeditions. Grab a code reader and see if we can figure out what the issue is. All right, guys, before us, we have a beautiful ruby red 2007 Ford Expedition with a 5.4 liter V8 Triton motors. Now, I know a lot of people out there throw shade on this particular vehicle and this year Ford because of the Triton motor with the cam phaser and timing related issues. However, I've had this vehicle for almost eight years. It's got over 180,000 miles on it. I've driven it for thousands of miles at a time to go on several road trips. You can't beat the comfort. You can't beat the third row and you can't beat the size and four wheel drive this and power this truck gives you. Now, last night, even though it is 12 degrees right now, like I said, it's sweltering. Oh, I'm sweating right now. I might want to go for a swim. Last night, it was negative 12. So it's 12 right now, above zero. Last night was negative 12. And when I went to start the truck this morning to take my kids to school, I noticed I had a check engine light. Now, cold weather can do that. It can cause a lot of issues. But let's go ahead and grab a code reader. Let's throw it on here and see if we can figure out what that check engine light is trying to tell us. All right, guys, so what I got here before me is my handy-dandy Harbor Freight Special Zurich ZR13. Now, if you want to know about this particular code reader and the basics on it, you can refer back to an original video I did on this particular channel, one of the first videos here on Minute Maintenance. Go ahead and look back, and I'll show you how to do that right now. I'm just going to plug in the code reader into my OBD2 scanning port, which is on the, on the dash here, and see if we can figure out what code is going on. All right, guys, the code reader is hooked up. My check engine light is going, that flashing exclamation point, don't worry about that, that's your tire pressure monitoring system. Um, that's the engine, the computer wants to keep track of your tire pressure. I didn't want to pay the extra 20 bucks per tire to have the sensor put in, so I just gotta deal with that flashing exclamation point because saying that it does not know what my tire pressure is, but what I'm worried about is that engine shaped light there. That light came on when I started the truck this morning, and now that I got my code reader hooked up, it is telling me that I have a P0340 camshaft position sensor a again that's bank one camshaft position sensor a and the great thing about this about this code reader and any code reader is i can hop on google and try to figure out what that's trying to tell me good thing is i know what that is so let's go ahead and get under the hood and see if we can figure out what uh the actual problem is all right guys and there's that beautiful 5.4 liter triton motor now when it comes to camshaft positioning sensors now the p0340 there's lots of codes p0340 through p0 Three, four, nine, I believe those are all camshaft position related sensors and your camshaft sensors are on the front. There's, there's two on each side, one over here and one on the driver's side. This one right here, it's hard to see through all these wires. Let's see if I can get a better angled view here. This right here, my fingers touching it. This black sensor right here, that's going to be your bank. I'm going to, I believe this is bank B. It's going to be a bank B positioning sensor right there and then identical one over here I got my aftermarket intake hooked up but it's underneath the intake and it is right I'm gonna go ahead and focus up here come on camera I'll zoom in on it right there guys right here that's gonna be bank A the one giving us our issue now as I mentioned before it was negative 12 degrees last night and P0340 is a generic camshaft code. What that means is a problem was detected. Um, normally when that happens, it's because of an electrical issue. And like I said, negative 12 degrees, you know what part of your vehicle doesn't like sub-zero temperatures? Your battery doesn't. Now this battery I have right here is actually about five years, years old, so she's on the way out anyway. And so when I went to start the truck this morning, I could feel a slight hesitation from the electrical. You, you guys know when your car starts right up, when your truck, your van, when it starts right up, everything's running well. You guys know what that feels like when it's normal. When I started it this morning, I could feel that slight delay of everything kicking on. From the oil being so thick and sludgy and cold, from the battery not getting all that voltage and amps and juice going right away. I could feel that slight delay and then my check engine light came on. So the P0340 generally, again, is an electrical generic code saying, hey, something went amiss. The computer could not read the camshaft positioning and there might be a timing issue. The engine ran smooth. There was no idling issues. When the camshaft position sensor is actually going bad, you'll have misfires. You won't start, you'll have a hard time starting, you'll have rough idling. Those are all because the timing is off. It's not getting the right fuel, the right spark, the right air, the timing's off. I did not have any of those issues. Everything, once it started, after that initial stutter, 
everything went smooth, oil thinned itself out from the heat and from circulating through the engine. The electrical was all back to normal, the engine was warm, and everything felt fine. I went ahead and put it in reverse, backed out of my driveway, because I thought, well, if there's a camshaft issue, maybe it'll idle fine, but once I put it under load, it'll start having the misfire issues, but there was no problems there. Drove the kids to school and back, smooth as butter as always. So that leads me to believe that because of the sub-zero temperatures and the slight hesitation from the battery, that is what threw my code. Now, what I'm going to do anyway, just an abundance of caution, I'm gonna reach down here, guys, and where my finger is, there's that small tab right there, I'm pushing on it. I'm sure you can see it bending a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and push that down and in and unplug this one camshaft positioning sensor and then I'm gonna look inside. Okay, did I get any oil on here somehow? Does some kind of moisture get in here? I'm not seeing any moisture. I'm not feeling any moisture. Look at my finger, I got a little bit of a little dirt on there, but nothing of any real consequence. I'm not seeing anything coming on the other end of here. It doesn't feel loose, like somehow it got itself loose and nothing got on it. So I have no reason to really believe the sensor is actually bad. Again, everything was running appropriately. So I'm going ahead and plug that one back in and I'm gonna to go to the other side and do the same thing over here. I'm gonna unplug that one, let's sit a couple seconds, look it over, make sure there's no damage to the wiring and make sure there's no fluids or any buildup on there. And then let's go inside and let's get this code cleared out. All right guys, so we're back here in the car. I have the key in the on position. Engine's not on, but the key in the on position. Check engine light is on and my code reader is hooked up. What I'm gonna do is on this particular code reader, some code readers don't give you the ability to clear codes because they don't want people selling used cars, clearing out codes. So when people go to drive, they think everything's okay. But this one does have the ability to clear codes. It's a big ready race button. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this code out because I know it's not an issue. Because again, everything rode fine. I'm not having any of the actual bad camshaft positioning sensor timing related issues. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. And that is going to erase, like I said, it's going to erase my check engine light for me. So when I go ahead and turn the truck on, all the way, no codes detected, let's go ahead and start her up. Look at that guys, the code's gone. So the check engine light's gone. Now if my camshaft position sensor truly is bad, the check engine light's gonna come back guys. Again, I'll have the rough idling, I'll have stalling issues, I'll have misfire issues, and the check engine light's gonna come back. But based on looking at the sensor, uh, externally based on looking at the wiring and based on the sub-zero temperatures we had last night and the electrical that I could feel that lack of initial surge I know that's what my issue was p0340 is a generic code saying an issue was noticed not that the sensor cell specifically was bad now if you don't have a code reader that allow you to actually clear out the codes what you can do is disconnect your negative battery disconnect the negative battery wire off the terminal let that sit for about 15 20 seconds hook it back up and that will actually erase the code it resets your computer a little bit and allows it to start fresh when it comes to sensing things but right now there's no need for me to change a camshaft positioning sensor both camshaft positioning sensors are only held in with one hex bolt guys there's no need for me to do that right now maybe i'll make a video just replacing those out because they're only 15 dollars parts but there's no need for me to spend 15 dollars right now just to toss a part in that's unneeded but it's only one bolt that's holding that in you guys saw where the locations were disconnect that wire one bolt 15 minute job 15 bucks to replace those sensors thankfully my truck does need one but i am looking at needing a new battery which i guess i'd rather have a 15 dollars sensor to replace than a 120 dollars battery but we're going to go ahead and get this hood closed up and this code reader put away all right guys and there you go we we're able to in a couple of minutes use our code reader that we had on hand to read that check engine light and realize the generic code we we're getting do some simple diagnostics as well as take the to totality of the circumstances into account to realize you know what the camshaft sensors actually are good this time just because the computer said hey there might be a problem do a little digging a little diagnostics take the circumstances into account and realize everything's just fine nope no rough idle no stuttering issues no stalling issues everything's good to go please like subscribe drop any comments or questions below and as always guys take a minute out of your day to do some maintenance sure looks like those guys over there are getting some maintenance done hope you guys do the same thing have a good one